Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will showcase how you can leverage search experiences, one search to rule them all, keeping delegation in mind in our Canvas Power App. The single search box experience will search across multiple columns, single line of text, auto number, lookup columns, and even search on a one is to many relationship type experience. So let's check this video out in action. In my Power App, I have a gallery that is connected to a table in Dataverse. The table has information about project data. ID, data type is auto number. So automatically generates an ID for each new project information added. Name, this is a column of type single line of text. Project status is a column of type choice that gets its data from a choice list, which has a list of options to choose from. And then we have a lookup column, which creates a many is to one relationship between the projects table and another table called account. This is what my accounts table looks like. I also have another table called project tasks, which has the information about tasks for specific projects. In my app, I have gone ahead and connected my projects table. My gallery items property is projects. I'm displaying the ID of the project, the name of the project. Client is a lookup column, which looks up to the account table. I'm bringing in the account name. Status is choice. And to display the related project tasks, I straight away leverage the relationship. So this item dot my project tasks table will get me all the tasks associated with this project. The data would be tabular in nature. So I leverage the concat function to get the names of the tasks and concatenate them with a comma. I would like to perform search on all of these different column types. And I want to create one search box to rule them all. So for the Items property of the gallery, if I leverage the search function on my projects table, here I will point to my text box, which is txt search box dot text, comma, which columns do you want to search on? So I have project ID, I'll select this, comma, I would like to search on the name and let's say for this scenario i'll just pick these two columns i'll click preview and here notice as i type it will apply the search it is trying to search for this text in both the id column and the project name column 1004 gives me that specific id and this is a fully delegable query. Notice I don't get any delegation warnings and delegation refers to the ability of Power Apps to work with large data sets. Meaning my data source, which in this case is a table in Dataverse, even if that exceeds 500 rows, the search function will still be performed on the large data set. The maximum delegation limit we can set is 2000. So if your query is not delegable, you cannot perform operations on large data sets. Now the text that's entered, I want to also leverage it to search in the status column. The search function works on columns only of type text. Although, IntelliSense will list out all the different columns. If I pick my project status column, 
notice I get an error that says that there are invalid argument types in the search function. So I have a challenge right here. In Power Apps, if you go to Settings, Upcoming Features, and search for Delegation, one of the features that's currently in preview is Enhanced Delegation for Microsoft Dataverse. And this supports additional functions with delegation powers, count rows, count if, and the in operator. So I have that feature turned on. Items, property of my gallery. I can also change this to filter my projects table where the text entered in that search text box is in, I'll pick my column name. If I want to apply this to my ID column as well, I want to add multiple searches. So I will stitch them together with an OR function. Put a comma, txt search box dot text is in my ID column. And I will format the text. So this is what my updated formula looks like. Let's try it out. 1006. Venture. Now right here, if I try txt search box dot text is in my column project status. Notice I get an error. So for this, I have a button here called search. My intent is that the user enters some text and clicks on search and then the search operation is performed. Now on select of this button, I will go ahead and set a variable. I'll call it var project status. I will first check to see if the text entered in the text box, if that is blank, then I would like to set this variable to blank. Else, I will use the filter function to filter on the choice values in that choice column. So there's a function called choices from my projects table. My column is called project status. So filter those choice values where the text entered in my search text box is in this record dot value. I'll click format text. Now, if I go back to my gallery, project status is in the variable that I created, which is var project status. So if I preview this, and if I search for, let's say, approve, if I click search, remember the variable is set when I click search. It's actually searching wherever the status column values have that text, which is approve. As I type, it is performing the search. However, I wanted to only search when I click on the search button. So for the search button, I will add one more step, which is set variable search text to the text entered in that text box. And this variable is what I will use for the in function of my name column and my ID column. So if you notice now, even if I type tech, it won't apply the filter until I click search. I also added a label here wherein I show the data in that variable search text so the user knows what they are searching on. And this text input text box, hint text property is search with an emoji, clear set to true. That gives me the option to clear the text in this text box. And whenever this text box clears, 
I wanted to automatically click on that search button. So there's a function called on change of this text box. Here, I will write a formula if is blank self dot text. That means if this text box is empty, in that case, you go ahead and select that search button. So I'm clicking the button if this is cleared. Client. This is a lookup column. So it looks up to data in the account table. And I would like to search based on the account name. That's what I'm displaying in the gallery. So to do that as well, when the search button is clicked, I will set a variable where clients, similar logic as before, if the text entered in the text box is blank, set this variable to blank, else go and search in my related table, my table accounts, the text is the text entered in the text box. And now in that accounts table, which columns do you want to search in? Name, maybe description, I'll click format text. That completes my formula. Now I'll leverage that variable and apply my filter logic. My column is called client lookup. That's the account table. In this table, I have a column called account, which is the same name as the table. That's my unique identifier. So client lookup dot account is in my variable dot. I'll point to that same column, which is account. Now let's give this a try. Let's say I search for techno. Click search. Notice it's also searching on the name of my clients. It's in a different table. And now let's try and take this one step ahead. Project tasks. One project can have many tasks. So the text that I enter, I want to also search on the task names. I'll create a variable where project tasks, same concept. If the text entered in the text box is blank, set this variable to blank. Else, go and search in the project tasks table where the text that is entered in that search text box is in the name column of the task table, maybe the description, whatever is of type text, I can pick those for search format text and that completes my formula back to my gallery filter condition here i will have to do it a little differently because it's a one is to many relationship for my projects table i have a column called project which is the unique identifier so i will say project is in that variable that has project tasks, that's coming from my project tasks table. Here there is a lookup column that is looking up to projects. So this will have that unique project identifier. So I'll say project is in for all my variable of project tasks. And the formula here is this record dot that lookup column for project dot project. So let's try this. I'll say deployment and search. Notice the word deployment is actually in those related tasks. Let's try another one flow. One of the related tasks for this specific project has the text flow. This search box has that key variable, which is where search text. So for the screens on visible property, I'm setting that search variable to blank to begin with. 
and I'm clicking on this button so that it clears all the logic of all my variables so I can start from a clean slate and I can start searching across all my different columns. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching.